and welcome back. Today we are going to be flying out the MiG-29 and the F-16 in a little bit of a head-to-head -to, -head to see which one comes out on top. Some rules here, we are going to be running full tank, the F-16 will be on 20 minutes of fuel and we are going to be running whatever loadout we think is suited for this kind of gameplay. We are going to be switching planes, this is the first fight and then second row we switch vehicles and then for the third set of fights we are going to be switching vehicles again to see if we learned anything from flying the opposite vehicle and we did so the results might surprise you a little bit and it's a little bit of a back and forth it's a very balanced matchup but it's definitely the mig 29s initiative the mig 29 controls these fights it can disengage is much faster it can force high speed fights whereas the f-16 is basically forced to always sit around an optimal speed range in these first fights the f-16 isn't really aware of the speed ranges once we switch i'll tell you more about this so right now the f-16 is basically just flying this like you fly any other top tier and the f-16 is kind of meticulous you have to fly it in a very specific manner and if you do that it's very very strong but if you don't it kind of turns into a brick the f-16 is extremely maneuverable at about 550 to 700 kilometers an hour if you go much faster you compress and if you go much slower you just completely brick up so you have the choice between compressing and having no airflow results is the same it turns you into a brick so you have to fly this thing very particularly and here we were doing it just normal fighting as i just said so then the mig-29 is extremely dangerous because the aoa and the turn rate of this thing are very very good it kind of just drifts on your target and it definitely catches you off guard if you aren't aware of it, if you are in the enemy vehicle. So right now, we're basically flying it like any other plane. And the MiG-29 is very handily winning. And the MiG-29 here is definitely more of a pick up and play vehicle. The skill floor is a lot lower. However, with the F-16, once you start understanding the vehicle, the MiG-29 can't do much if it takes the fight. So right now we are just full sending it. We are going to be talking about counters in a minute here. So... Right now, we did some fights, the F-16 is clearly losing all the fights, so something must be going wrong. So we switch planes, and now I'm in the F-16, it's the exact same model, it's the MOU still, it doesn't really matter as it's the same as the other ones, other than, well, if it has a big elevator, it's like a block 15, block 20 I believe, doesn't really matter, if it has the big elevators, it is the same flight model. And I found in our fights that if you keep it around 550 to 700 kilometers an hour, this thing actually is pretty damn maneuverable. The second you go below it again, you just turn into a little bit of a brick. So this time I'm going to be fighting this by keeping a very close eye on my speed. And I never want to go below 400 IES. I'm trying to stay near 550, but I also need to be realistic. So right now I'm just kind of turning this into a raid fight. And I am slowly but surely gaining on the MiG-29 very handily even the trust weight of this thing is also very good but keep in mind the mig-29 doesn't rate very far off this thing so if your default is put it into a raid fight it doesn't mean you're automatically going to win it does come a little bit down to position and speed but again more of that later so right now we are in this kind of scissor e flat turn ish i don't know these these terms it doesn't really matter we are basically flat turning after each other and i'm just trying to keep about 500 ies and it's putting me in a very good spot here. He's burning a lot of speed by trying to get position on me. And I'm just holding my position. And I'm slowly but surely gaining ground. So we're about to turn in here. He is probably going to get a shot here. Because the MiG-29 just kind of drifts into you. Luckily we just get out of his guns by going a little bit horizontal. Picking up that extra bit of speed to get over his nose or through his nose before he gets the shot. And he burned a lot of speed doing that. So we dodge his nose yet again. And this time we go down, we pick up some speed. And then the second we reach about 500. I should probably reach 550-ish looking at this in retro aspect. But hey, we all learn from these mistakes. But I'm just slowly but surely gaining ground. And I don't really need to do anything other than hold this. And after we switch planes again, you are going to be seeing what mackerel does to me. It's very effective. And it basically makes it so that all he needs to do is make sure he doesn't get hit. And I'm doing the exact same here. So, yet again, look at this. We are now basically neutral. We are on a 6 somewhat slowly but surely gaining and i don't really need to do anything fancy i just need to make sure that i stay out of his guns out of his missiles 
and that he makes a mistake and he kind of needs to go on the offensive here because I'm winning this fight he makes he needs to make something happen and he does this by going vertical and by going vertical after him in the F16 you kind of see that this thing it stops turning very well once you put some speed back into it you can tell that it starts pulling a hell of a lot harder you don't really see it here because it wasn't going just quick enough but you'll see it again in a minute here once I reach about 550 kilometers an hour so I'm gaining a lot of position and now he's forced to make some moves and that's gonna cost him even more energy and because of that well he's basically running out of it and I look at about 500 I just suddenly turn in I kind of get a snap and then at about 400 I turn into a brick again the main issue is that if you do not keep this thing or at least at somewhat of a speed range you don't have much AOA it doesn't really pull that hard or at least it doesn't feel that way you really need to look at your speed in this thing and if you don't you are probably not gonna have a very good time I can tell that slowly but surely we are wearing this guy down and he is just completely out of energy now and he's he can't go horizontal he can't go vertical doesn't matter what he do he's gonna end up in my guns so that's going to be kill one for the f16 well, of course we had some other kills for the f16 as well but i wanted to show you the most interesting fights so it was a little bit of a back and forth i started off pretty strong with the mig 29 winning and then winning in the f16 and then once we swapped and i told mackerel a little bit about the vehicle what i found what i felt like it became a lot of board a lot more balanced a lot more of a matchup that was actually interesting to watch and what we are doing right here is i'm trying to sacrifice a lot of speed to gain position because i know if i have position i can wear him down slowly the thing with the mig 29 is that well it's a lot faster and it can disengage basically at will and it's a very strong thing the thing is if you disengage and the guy shoots six missiles at you and you have to dodge all of them you probably end up being slow in front of him and you are still being sucked up into this fight and that's the strength of the f-16 it has much better heat seekers and in this kind of scenario i can kind of reel the mig-29 back in the r-60ms don't have much range they're not nearly as flare resistant and it kind of makes it so that if i disengage in the f-16 i can very easily defeat his missiles the issue is i don't really want to get the mig-29 on my six the mig-29 slows down a lot easier so i'm really just doing everything in my power to slow down and merge at a lower speed so now we switch vehicles again we go back to mig 29 and again i'm gonna be trying the same thing we almost get the first shot but we don't shoot in the first merge because that kind of defeats the purpose but it does show you that i get the shot there i can kill him in the first turn because he didn't slow down enough the thing here is that if you take the f-16's fight which we are doing right here this is definitely not the play if an f-16 is over slowing into a fight he will get a lot of position but he's gonna dump a lot of energy the thing is the f-16 can get it back maintain it very easily so if you are gonna be fighting on his terms when he tries to over slow you are not gonna be winning that fight you need to set your own terms in a mig-29 and here he comes down he's diving on us he's picking up speed and that gives me the opportunity to kind of cut inside of his turn now we get a shot right here unfortunately i miss it I, un under over I don't know what happened i just missed and now we are very slow in this fight and he set the turns again he had the position he has the energy and now i need to make something happen and when i need to make something happen that means that i'm gonna be burning a lot of speed again so i get the shot here luckily i get it if i miss that i am done i get like one or two shots early on if i miss them it's over he made a mistake he turned the wrong direction he could have very easily won that again merge and now we are going to be trying to fight it as slow as possible let's see how that goes i'm trying to get underneath him so i can pitch up over him and fall on top of him he notices this and he goes back down he's trying to maintain his speed now as we discussed before and you can tell that suddenly my plane is not really gaining that much ground again the MiG-29 is also one of those wheel planes that actually gains rate by using the takeoff flaps. Don't ask me how that works. It simply does. I'm trying to use the rate somewhat, but I'm also trying to get some speed in me to make sure that I actually have the ability to maneuver and pull AOA to pull into the F-16. Very often, once you get into the position where the F-16 has initiative, you need to break off and you need to run away. The issue is here, and you'll see this in a second here, when you do that, 
The F-16 is still going to be plenty fast because it maintains its speed so well. And it's going to be very close on your 6. So he's going to be at 2 kilometers. He's going to be launching some A9Ls. And these are barely out of range. And yes, I'm still working on the missile guide. And right here is one of the key examples. You don't need flares if you can bleed it of speed. Now he's going to shoot a second one. But it, this is costing me a lot of speed and position as well. Luckily I'm much faster than the F-16. I can maintain these higher speeds much easier than him. And it just turns into do I want to take the fight again. And in this case I do. And it's mostly for the sake of the argument in an Arrow B match. The F-16 is basically just left out to dry and the MiG-29 can very easily disengage. And this is also not to say that the MiG-29 is so much better than the F-16. It is an Air RB and when I'm talking about the balanced matchup, I'm mostly talking about just these 1v1s in a secluded environment when they are both on full combat loads. On min fuel, it's a little bit of a different story. I haven't tested it extensively so I don't want to go into it too much. But I did talk to some duelists that do the high tier tournament stuff and they basically said the same thing so the mig-29 will rate a lot better at lower fuels but the f-16 will too at low fuel both of them low fuel it's a little bit of a closer story if you run both full tank the f-16 just kind of can't keep up because it bricks up too much and that's why we have the f-16 on slightly lower fuel here because otherwise it wouldn't be fun if we test it versus something like the aj it also turns into a little bit of a different story but we couldn't really test it because he didn't have it. And I don't want to fly the plane out only myself. Because then we can't swap. And if we can't swap we can't tell what is plane. And what is pilot dependent. So right now you can tell that the F-16 is kind of holding me hostage. And I need to be on the defensive constantly. Now I can just run away and fly to my teammates. But there are none. So I'm kind of forced to take these fights. And it's also much more enjoyable. What makes this fight so tedious is that the F-16 basically has to fly it in a very particular manner. And if he does that, it's very one dimensional. You don't really need to look at much other than your speed. If you keep at about 550 and I take the fight and I don't have that dog in me, I basically just lose. It's very annoying because he just needs to hold S. He doesn't need to do anything fancy. And he's going to end up getting speed, position... And raid on me. And it's just... It's very annoying. Because it's very easy for him to do. All he needs to do is make sure he doesn't get shot down. And he makes a very critical... Not a mistake. The other word. Decision. Instead of going up after me. He goes horizontal. He gets his speed back. He goes over my nose. The camera has an absolute seizure. And he just has me by the balls here. He's draining my balls dry. And there is really not much I can do about it other than disengage. But at this point we are too slow. We are too low to the deck. And we can't really do that anymore. So now I'm completely forced to take this fight. But I'm still going to try it. Because I like disengaging. So I'm going to be flying away. I'm going to try to get as far away as possible. And see if I can actually dodge his missiles. So we are at about Mac.9 once that missile reaches. That's an AIM-7F luckily. So I just guide it into the ground. And we actually get away from it because he's out of missiles. I completely forgot about that because he's running AIM-7Fs and not 6 AIM-9Ls. So we turn back in for the fifth time. We go up over his nose. We try to just get over it. And I try to line up the shot here. But he also slows down. He gets under my nose. And because I don't have any speed in me, I also can't really pull any A away. And again, he has me by the balls. And this is what I meant. If you play the F-16's game and he doesn't stall himself out like that, you're not going to get much done. Now the F-16 here made a little bit of a mistake, but as you saw throughout this video as well, the GSA Sturdy does absolutely fucking nothing. Kind of annoying. But we got a hit on him. We are going to be chasing him down now because we do have position. He did stall out a little bit. Uh, unfortunate. So we have a lot of position now. We are getting on the 6. And he is going to be dead. He gives up the fight. And we go into the next round. F-16 comes down. We go under him. I try to go over him. Notice that I'm going to be ramming him. So I slot under him. I get a shot and I overcorrect my keyboard. And I miss it. And now I'm basically dead. Because I am again on the F-16's turn. And turn. And I basically threw everything into getting that shot. I tried to get a little bit of a nose drift. I just missed like 50 kilometers an hour. Otherwise he would have been dead right there. But 
he just has too much power and he ends up going over my nose again and we are for the 50th time in this video stuck into this same scissor pattern and he just really doesn't need to do anything other than watch his speed right now he's just keeping it speed he is making sure that he's maneuverable enough to get out of my guns and that he's fast enough to kind of energy trap me and you can tell that every time i try to make a counter attack i barely get the shot He's slowly but surely just gaining position again. So I'm trying to slow down sometimes to cut inside of his loop. But he reacts accordingly. And I just can't do much here. And I can start raid fighting. But I have too much fuel on me. And he will just win that too. So I'm forced to make a play here. The thing is that if he plays it right. And I've just been, been a broken record. And the issue is that the, the fights here are very one dimensional. And you can tell that I'm trying to get my nose on. I'm trying to make something fancy happen. And I get countered by the most boring playstyle ever. And I'm just holding the pitch up key. So now... Okay, we have been taking the fight every time he throttle dropped. And he's going to, going to give us a lot of position. What do you do to counter this in the MiG-29? Well, as we have learned throughout the gameplay of War Thunder, If you have a lot of energy... You need to use it. So we go vertical this time. Because he's going about 700. We merge at almost Mach 1. And I need to make sure that two things here happen. I need to make sure that I keep pulling inside of him. And I need to make sure that I do not. At any circumstance open the gap too much. Because then A9Ls come into the play. I'm very slow. I need the afterburn to maintain this energy advantage. And then these A9Ls become hella deadly. We do exactly that. We stall him out. And down he goes. So now he needs to react to what we do. And the issue here is if he tries to play energy after me, he's going to break up. He's going to be compressing and I get the ability to just kind of turn inside of him. I notice that he's too slow again. And again, I notice that he's closing the gap. Do not pull in right there because he's going to pull into us. He's going to be out accelerating us because he's flying straight. We are turning and we are going to give him a very easy shot. Right now he's too slow, he needs to break off and he's going to try to disengage. Unfortunately, I have 6 or 60 M's and he's going relatively slow. He's forced to cut his afterburner and I can just launch all of these right off. If I didn't have these, same thing really applies because I'm faster than him. And I slow down easier, I'm more maneuverable at high speed. If you get this thing on your 6 in the F-16, like that 6 and you don't have enough room, it's very annoying. And here we go again. He tries to play energy. This time I slow down a little bit. And I just set instant position. And he needs to work very hard to get me off him again. Because he's not in an ideal position. I'm higher than him. He needs to go up. And I basically have him by the balls from the second the merge happened. So the moral of the story is here. The F-16 is very strong in certain positions. But the MiG-29 holds all the control and it can kind of force whatever fights it wants and especially in aero it's just a lot more dynamic thank you all for watching hope you liked it and i'll see you all in the next one